a wonderful polo in action for you a little later on this afternoon. Cavalry against guards to kick us off right here on the main pitch at the Dubai Polo and Equestrian Club. This is good. Here we are at the uh, Dubai Polo and Equestrian Club, Camel Polo. Which is the fastest Which camel the here? Club. To be followed swiftly by Eton against Harrow. We've got Eton versus Harrow and Oxbridge versus Habtor uh, and then a great after party. So it's going to be a fantastic British day here in the wonderful weather in the UAE. <laughs> to hit the polo, just get everyone jealous in the snow. <laughs> Grip it onto the top, hold with both legs, don't fall. That's it. I think really the essential skill is choosing a good mahout because uh, they're the people that drive it and then they put you in the right place and uh, the ball should be big enough that uh, the camel will kick it if you miss it. This is our designer. This is the designer from, from France. From Paris. Uh, is it, well, it's the British Polo Day. Uh, it's okay to have a Frenchman because actually every Englishman looks to a Frenchman to dress and as you can see the way he's turned up today. We're loving that. This is beautiful. <laughs> Apparently the camels are quite temperamental sometimes. They'll sit down, they'll jump up. <laughs> Potential for bloodbath? Yeah. We started the camel polo in the club here, four years back. Uh, camels are not really very smart to, uh, to listen to the rider, to go right, left, or go backward, or fast, or to check, you know, to stop. Oh, oh the white jeans have split. <laughs> so uh, that's why you will see two people riding the polo camel. One is the professional rider, which he doesn't uh, hold the stick and then the player is sitting in the back. That wonderful sight, Raj, of eight camels, eight guards and eight cavalry men. <laughs> not, to, not to forget, eight camel jockeys. Yes. Polo has been played by cavalrys for generations, but it really was um, developed and started in, in Asia, and then it got adopted by uh, cavalrys of Europe and the West, and they developed it as a way of maintaining their uh, cavalry skills, but also having some sport at the same time. So we see the ball fly down towards the Studio City end of the pitch here, and they're on the charge. On the charge, there we go. Yes, sir, the guards are good! 3 0. The guards won. 3 0. Are we lucky because we had some good polo players on side? That's what's so exciting about this whole event. It's, it's doing something new, it's doing something fresh. You know, camel polo, no one plays it, but we just had a great occasion there. And this opportunity to get all the Brits together in the region, and that's really why we're doing it, because it's just to create a lot of fun for all the people who live overseas, and hopefully we'll be doing it across the rest of the region pretty soon.